So dear Michelle, we are both attracted with the same reason in the physical therapy world, and this is to help others. And you've been mentoring us now, personal mentoring for second time. And I was first time in LA since you hold course there with Julie Sarkin. And I would like you to say to our followers, who are the therapies that you are teaching us for? How do you, they, how are they able to recognize themselves with them, with their symptoms? So you mean, who are the patients that yes. we're looking for? So I would say at this point that you're looking for clients that, um, that you're looking for anybody that has low back pain, anybody that has hip pain, anybody that shows the more traditional type um, pelvic pain symptoms. So if they're pain with sex or um, incontinence, hip pain, any of those are very common signs, and SI joint pain. So any of those kinds are very common patients that I see in America. So many of the patients that I treat, they also usually ask me, why this happened to me? Uh -huh. So why do I have a hip pain? Why do I have pain with penetration? Why do I have menstrual, menstrual pain? Why do I have a bladder issues, infections, and uh, the diagnosis, everything is fine? Why do I have SI joints dysfunction? What would you say? Why? Why this happened to us? Well, again, as I've said, we're an accumulation of every good and bad thing that's ever happened to us in our life. So we could have fallen, we could have been in a car accident, we could have been in a bike accident. It, it, you fall hiking, you fall, you step on a step, or you think there's another step. I mean, there's so many ways that it can happen, but um, the body is very good about compensating for different structural problems or mechanical problems that we see and most of these clients I feel are suffering from mechanical problems that haven't been addressed over time so it's it's like the alignment of the car we talked about and how much difference that makes when you get your car aligned well it's the same thing with a person and so your body is so good at adapting to all these fascial changes um, but you know we have illnesses and that's normal most of the stuff is happening in normal everyday life and it's accumulation over time and then the body just can't deal with changes anymore and they're like i need help and so they create pain to force us to do something about it it's actually pain is our friend i think it is i mean i think at least they're you know little warning signs for a lot of people they have pain oh maybe you know once a year and then it becomes more frequent then it becomes twice a year then it becomes three times a year and so it's just like when are you finally going to pay attention to it and also can you say that inflammation and uh, operation and scars are influencing our oh body? absolutely because again this whole, you know, scar tissue is normal. It's the body trying to heal. But again, it changes the mechanics of the system. And scar tissue can be treated. And also lifestyle. If we sit too much, if we don't move, right? Or if you lie on your stomach. Yeah. That's a new thing that I will talk about <laughs> later. Um, is there anything else you would like to say to our followers, especially regarding my team, since I'm not the only one now learning from you? Oh my goodness. I am so impressed with your team. I mean, Masha and Sergeya and every one of them have treated me and they are phenomenal. And so it was, it was fun to see them so excited about learning and you know, taking the information that we gave them last time and how much better they've become just in that short period of time. I'm like, I'm excited for you. You get all these people that are here that can treat you. Yay. So, so I think that's really exciting. And I, I, and I would say, come in, get treated. I mean, what's the worst thing that's going to be that you get better? Perfect. So thank you for letting Slovenian community get better with your knowledge. Oh my goodness. It's been, a, it's been so much fun and such an honor to be here. And I appreciate that you have invested time and resources and people to, to learn from me because that's very much of an honor and it's I love Slovenia. Thank this you. has been beautiful. Thank you.